Okay, we'll walk through the solution to the Dynamics Quiz 2 solution. Here's our problem statement here. Get my pen up. So we have a tennis player is about to hit the ball, or he does hit the ball. We're told here the velocity is all horizontal velocity, VA at A. So there's going to be no VY. or initial VY. He hits it such that it just barely goes over the net and we're assuming the, the ball is a particle so it has no dimension to it so it's not uh, the center of the mass is the same as the, the outside edge of the ball which obviously is not the case but that's how we're going to model it and we need to find that, that horizontal velocity as well as how far the ball goes after it hits after it clears the net and then I've added a rubric here, so we need a vertical position equation. That will get us two points. The time to reach the net is two points. Horizontal velocity equation is two points. Finding that horizontal initial velocity, that VA. And then finally, the distance S. So looking at this problem, we need to think about our approach. So what is our approach going to be? Well, we know we know what gravity is going to do. We also know what our initial velocity in y is, which is zero. We know how far the ball travels. So here's what we need to find our initial velocity. Step one, we'll do vertical position. And that will get us the time T A B, so the time to hit get to the net. We can use that time to calculate oh, calculate V A, so that horizontal velocity is going to be that distance over however long it takes to get to here. Step three, what else do we need? We need the time to reach the net. That uh, horizontal velocity equation, the horizontal velocity, and then step three we'll calculate another time. Time T A C, so the total time it takes to go from A to C using our V uh, Y function of time position. And then four we'll calculate our S. So that's our approach based on what we know. So step one, vertical position. So we have here y t equal our initial position plus v naught y times t. So our initial velocity times the time plus one half a c constant velocity constant acceleration excuse me times t squared and this is in the y direction so in our example here since we know it's hit with a horizontal velocity there's no y not component we can get rid of this guy we know gravity in this case we're in english units so this is 32.2 negative what's our initial position so it's 7.5 we're looking for when it's 3, so it's going to be plus 1 half t squared. So we can solve that for t, so you get two points there. If you had this but didn't get the quite, quite the right numbers in there, I give you one point generally. So we get negative 4.5 on this side equals negative 16.1 t squared, divide both halves by 16.1, take the square root, we find t for the net is 0 0.529 uh, seconds. I rounded that to three significant figures. And that was one of the things we were looking for, actually the second thing. So that should be a good hint that we're on the right track, so that's plus two there. 
Step two, horizontal velocity. So here we have a choice how we want to define our coordinate system. I'm going to set this as x0 here. So this is going to be 21. So x of t equals x0 uh, plus um, v not x t plus one half a c t squared. And in this case, that goes to zero. There's no acceleration in the x direction. This is our v a, and this is our zero. And at this point, we have this is going to be 21. We know at time equals 0 0.529 seconds. Equals zero plus v a times zero. 0.529 seconds. So this is feet. So VA is 21 for 0 0.529, 39.7 feet per second. That's one of our answers. So that gets us two there. This equation here gets you two as well. Now finally, we need to use uh, both of those previous position equations to find our final time t from a to c and using that to calculate s so we'd calculate this total x position subtract 21 gets us our s so step 3 time from a to c we have y of t equals that same equation, y naught plus v naught y t plus one half a c t squared. So in this case, our final position is zero, our initial position is 7.5, our initial velocity is zero, and we have negative 16.1 t squared. So we have seven, negative 7.5 over negative 16.1, take the square root, t equals. Zero point uh, six eight three, actually two five seconds. I'm going to use that in my equation. So then step four, S. So we're going to have x of zero point six eight two five seconds equals thirty nine point seven feet per second times 0 0.6825 x equals assuming I found 27.11 feet so s equals x minus 21 s equals 6.11 feet so we get two points for that we didn't get any points for this intermediate solution Hopefully that makes a little more sense. The key here, a couple, th couple things, knowing which equations to use because of what we had. So we knew we didn't have any initial velocity in the y direction. If we um, somehow, maybe this guy's give, giving this a lob and he's going to make this VA is going to be at some angle here. We'd need that. Maybe it's 45 degrees, maybe it's something else. We need to include that. That would make it a little more tricky. We'd find some vertical component of that. We put that into this equation um, based on what that angle was and we could we could work it out there as well. Um, but it would be a little more tricky with that. So the, the main thing to recognize here is we knew our horizontal position our vertical positions, we knew our acceleration in the vertical direction. Just keeping that straight without any uh, vertical ex uh, initial velocity then using that time that we found to find our horizontal velocity and then using a second time to hit the ground to calculate the total distance traveled.